For more than 155 years, God has been writing a biography of His grace. Each chapter has been filled with highlights and heartaches, obstacles and victories. The purpose of the story is the highest, Christ and His kingdom, and the passion of the characters has been the deepest, marked by sacrifice and surrender. The working title of the Master's Manuscript is Union Bible College and Academy. It all began with a vision, a vision for the future. Godly people believing God for something better, something greater, something more. Christian people who were not content to settle for less. To the faithfulness of his people, God responded faithfully. And to the parchment of time, he laid his pen and the story began. It includes chapters introducing great men like seminary founder, Brother William Smith, past presidents, Brother Peyton Cox, Brother Joshua Stauffer, Brother Raymond Feaster, Brother Edwin Newby, Brother Simeon Smith, and Dr. James Keaton, whose legacy lives on to the present. All of these men have been a blessing to us by laying a foundation upon which to continue to build. Some of these men are still among us, inspiring us to look up, press forward, and turn the page. Men like former president, Brother James Sutherland. In 1986, uh, I had served on the uh, school board for some time. We were without a president of the school and during a board meeting, my name was considered to be a, a candidate for president of the school. Uh, and in that discussion, they talked about, and they had 90 some thousand dollars in the building fund, but they had spent most of that for the steel for this new building that was laying on the ground. And uh, I told them that if the Lord wanted me to be involved, we would definitely have to build that building. So uh, that would mean we'd have to raise the money to complete or finish this building. That was the biggest burden that I faced at the time. Uh, then secondly, um, during that time, we sought to change the name of the school from Union Bible Seminary, because we're not a seminary, to Union Bible College, which we felt would bring it more uh, up to date. Uh, and again, there was that struggle with regard to finances, continuing to try to find new sources of income. And uh, uh, so I was trying to take care of our base and pay our bills, uh, but I wanted to build this building. And this building is, is a miracle from God. With new structures being built and a new name under which to operate, God again turned the page. But despite the varying chapters, the storyline of this great institution ever remains the same as former president Dr. Robert England reminds us. It is a great blessing to obtain a Bible college education. One that provides rigorous academic programs and provides, provides nourishment for a healthy social interaction one with another. But there is a component which is more important than these, namely, the manifest presence and outpouring of the Holy Spirit in uh, one's campus life from time to time in the chapel services, revival meetings, classrooms, and dormitories. Without this outpouring of the Holy Spirit, a Bible college education is really deficient. I particularly remember one such occasion during an early morning prayer meeting at UBC. On one occasion, the prayer meeting, which began at 6.15 and would normally end at 7 o'clock, was not getting stopped at 7. The third member of the triune Godhead poured out a gracious spirit of prayer and supplication upon the small group of prayer warriors in the chapel. That prayer meeting continued throughout the morning, into the afternoon, and even into the evening and night hours, and finally ended about 3.30 in the morning. What a marvelous, marvelous occasion it was. And then I recall a midwinter revival where the Holy Spirit rent the heavens and came in about 7.15 during the early preliminaries. For the next five hours, there was absolutely no need of human leadership. The Holy Spirit poured out in gracious manner 
his spirit until many victories were won amidst shouting and overflowing praises. That service ended about 12.15 the next morning. Those two occasions were such that they were unforgettable for those who were there. Praise be unto God. With the manifest presence of Almighty God among us, we are prepared to meet the challenges that lie before us. Every chapter has them and the accomplishments that are the result of them. Each one serves as a catalyst, pushing us closer to what the divine author has in mind for this great institution. Chancellor John Whitaker shares, some of the accomplishments and challenges that I had during the era of my presidency here at Union Bible College was to create stability uh, at UBC. One of the other challenges that we had was to acquire um, property for future expansion of the school. And we acquired around nine pieces of property uh, that connected to our campus so we could expand in the future. One of the other obstacles that we had was to, um, to work with the city to know who we were and the community. People would come by and didn't know exactly who we were. And so I had a great opportunity working with the mayor and the community to reconnect of who UBC was and, and what we were trying to accomplish here. And one of the other uh, challenges and things that we overcame was the starting of the accreditation process and we started the process here at UBC after much thought and prayer and uh, we are in the process even yet of, of uh, accomplishing initial accreditation. With candidacy status of accreditation achieved, inroads into the community being made, properties being purchased, academics ever expanding, finances at record levels, an aggressively growing student body, and the manifested presence of Almighty God among us, it's time. Time again for the turning of the page. A new era is dawning at Union Bible College and Academy. The next chapter is being written, and you and I have a privileged part.